good evening everyone i hope all of you are fit fine and healthy and enjoying your time i am here with my today's video and it is going to be really interesting and fun learning for all of you so let me introduce my topic the topic of the day is to learn all the 12 tenses in a single go within few minutes i'll explain you uh, all the tenses in a very very easy way and you have to know down all the tricks to keep in your mind so let's get started in front of you there is a slide that is mentioned tenses in the row we have mentioned the tenses that is present past and future and in the column the all the aspects are mentioned that is indefinite continuous perfect and perfect continuous let me start with the indefinite aspect for present tense the helping verbs are do and does do is used with plural subjects and does is used with singular subject she sings a song for present indefinite we use verb plus s or es according to the subject negative will be she does not sing a song or does she sing a song for past indefinite did is the helping verb and we use second form of verb that is she sang a song for negative she did not sing a song or did she sing a song for future tense helping verbs are will and shall she will sing a song and then she will not sing a song or will she sing a song now moving on to the continuous aspect helping verbs are is am and are for present tense is is used with singulars am is restricted for i and are is used with plurals and the sentence structure is she is singing a song so verb ing form is used here for past continuous tense again verb ing will be used but the helping verbs are was and were was is used with singular subjects and were is used with plural subjects then for future continuous tense will be and shall be are the helping verbs she will be singing a song now it's time for perfect tense has and have are used for present perfect tense she has sung a song third form of verb is used has is used with singular subjects and have is used with plural subjects for past perfect tense had is the helping verb that is used with all the subjects and again third form of the verb or past participle is used she had sung a song for future perfect tense will have and shall have are the helping verbs she will have sung a song for perfect tenses only third form of verb is used then it's time for perfect continuous tense only helping verbs are changed just all the sentence structures are same for present perfect continuous tense has been and have been are used she has been singing for 2 hours since and for is also used in perfect continuous tenses had been is restricted for past perfect continuous tense she had been singing for 2 hours and for future perfect continuous tense she will have been singing for 2 hours just go for this video and focus on the forms of the verbs and helping verbs for the concerned tenses in indefinite aspects a slight change of forms of verb and helping verbs are there but for continuous tense in all the three tenses we use verb ing in perfect tenses we use third form of verb that is past participle and for perfect continuous tense again verb ing is used with the concerned helping verbs i hope you have learned something and you will enjoy this video i'll be back with my next video soon until then take care bye bye